Aquawax. Relax with Relax Relax with Relax Hello, Aquawax. Now, it's a uh, new build day. Uh, not only is it new build day, it is uh, um, the build that I will be giving away on November's Live and Bricking, I do believe, a week on Saturday. But before we get to that, we've got my favourite thing, which is, of course, uh, welcoming a new minifig. Uh, to the haunted table so without further ado all the applause uh, for Carol Coppas Carol Coppas oh he hello Emma. hello Carol Coppas I hope that's uh, precisely as you wanted um, little top there nice nice jeans you got on Carol Coppas yes thank, yes, thank you Emma I do like a jean uh, did you manage to get any of the other things I, I asked for y well yes uh, I've managed to get to get you a cat oh that that's absolutely super yes oh that's lovely yeah so there's your cat with that cat needs a name though carol coppas um so uh could you could you please tell us what that cat's name is yes i'll, I'll, I'll get right onto it yes okay um can, can, I, can i go on the cloud now from a tremble yes you can yes you can uh, which means matt mccolgan it was gosh you you were there and then you were gone again um i hope you enjoyed that crusty fourth back uh, to the bleachers and uh, here is Carol Coppes I'll, I'll, I'll put your as yet unnamed cat also uh, on the cloud with you uh, but there we go uh, thank you thank you uh, for being a goose and, and thank you for uh, for being a, a, a goose level that, 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 that enables this to happen thank you very 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 much without you and without the other gooses, honestly, we couldn't do this. We really couldn't do this. Um, so thank you. Um, off you pop over there, and uh, enjoy your tremble. So there, she, there she is, Carol Coppas. All the applause. I mean, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Carol Coppas. Is it Carol Coppas or Carol Coppas or Carol Copas? Well, I, I need guidance. Right, anyway, here we go. Uh, this is the build that will be the goose giveaway for November. I thought, um, and the reason I chose this, because obviously we're still sort of in November, which is like the spooky month. Um, so I thought, oh, yes, before we get into it, the, all the Christmas sets, let's finally do uh, the spooky, spooky set. Or some would say the spookiest set that we have here in the lego shed but this will be built and it will be given away uh a week on saturday so here we go it is the chamber of secrets ah, 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 the chamber of secrets <laughs> okay so someone's gonna get this i'll tell you what this is uh, this is this is quite a big set, um, and look at the minifigs you get with this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven minifigs, and you get the serpent, and look, and you get a gold one. So lucky you, and you get a ghost one. So lucky you. Um, look at that! What an array of minifigs. Anyway, boom, boom, boom. Um, this is going to be the November Goose giveaway. That looks intriguing. Anyway, so here we go. A, a rocky undercover here, which is obviously where the Chamber of Secrets would be, and then obviously bits of Hogwarts up here. Owl. Ob. Let's have a look at the back. Um, so here we go. One, two, uh, three. Uh, sections, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten uh this looks fun moving part there we've got a glow in the dark minifig got some lovely detailing inside that looks horrific that looks exciting this is terrifying super okay let's get on with it uh, we have nine bags um but here we go take it away eric
Oh, holy book of Lego, we open you and away we go. We flip through the pages with our fingertips, and we all settle in to relax with Brick. some super stickers obviously we won't be putting on the stickers because this is going to be given away but uh, there are your stickers whoever uh, whoever's gonna win it um yeah it's not too big this this isn't as big as i thought it was going to be actually it, it's just nine bags um so super right let's get on with it shall we um let's do the null So we start with some minifigs and this, hang on, let's get this here, uh, this is Aurora Sinistra, who sounds rather marvellous. Oh look, which comes with a, that, f I'm going for smiley face, tremendous hat. Oh that's, th I mean that is an excellent hat isn't it? That's an excellent minifig. Anyway, that's Aurora Sinistra. She gets a wand. Such super minifigs with this set. A bit jealous, if I'm being honest. As you know, I'm all about the minifigs. I'd quite happily... There's lots of sets, actually. I'd quite happily just keep the minifig. And uh, not bother with the set. That's how mad I am for minifigs. Uh, this, of course, is a little Ron Weasley. Uh, where's Ron's head? Oh, no. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's rolled all the way over there. That's bad business. I think despite it being a spooky set, um, I mean, that's a very good face, but I'm going to keep it light. I'm not entirely sure that that hair befits a child of that age. That That is the hair of a 45-year-old 40, DJ. Is it, is it not? Ron Weasley. Um, and of course, little Harry Potter. The scamp. Yeah, come on, let's make them all smiley. They've got the... They've got, oh no, here comes the... Here comes the, the serpent face. Right, you go over there. Now... Uh, Harry gets, hang on, how does this work? Oh, like that. Oh, I see. We're making a little camera for him. I'm just doing the mini things and then, of course, we'll get going. Now, this is nice. Look at that. You, I mean, I love a bit of silver, as you know. Turn that round. That's a nice camera with a flash, isn't it? There we go. Um, and this extraordinary sword. I think it's got a name, isn't it? Isn't it Godric's sword or something? Um, anyway, we'll give that... Oh, Harry's hair's come off. Hold on. There we go. Right, that's minifig in full. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, he's a bit wonky. Oh, he's got to find his... There we are. Uh, super. Right, let's uh, get going, shall we? Um, we start today with the Google Eyes. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. 
All right, Dolly. Yeah, aren't you, Muppet? <clears throat> sort that, you know, because I said, yeah, I'm sort that, you know, yeah. Uh, I just want to say I love the anthem. Uh, a special mention uh, for the White Blue Tech, which played a mahoosive part, didn't it? The great big massive mahoosive part in, in the anthem of White Blue Tech. Are you being rude? No. Do not leave. No, I can't because as it was, has now been well established, there is no smoking on the haunted table, and I wish you'd stop asking. <sighs> honestly, honestly, honestly. Oh, a little bit of Technics coming up. That. Hang on, let me concentrate. Well, I've got the wrong glasses on, by the way. You'll all be glad to know today. Um, completely wrong glasses. I've got my distance glasses on, which is which is disastrous. So ev every time I look over at the uh, at the instruction booklet and at the knoll, uh, it, I'm literally a squinty McGinty. Ah uh, well, I'll I'll just push on through. I'll push on through. Um. TVZ, I want to three, I want to three. It uh, says, uh, fabulous. I might see if the mermaid will get me one for Christmas. Honestly, wasn't it a fantastic set? Um, really, really good. Oh, how many, how's this working out? Oh, like that, I see. Really super imp impressive. I've, uh, I've snuck it into the big house. And Georgie came back from London yesterday and took one look at it and just said, what is that doing in here? But she hasn't insisted it is removed. I think she was quietly impressed with it. Um, but, you, you know, I mean, well, it's in the office, so I, th I feel like on top of a filing cabinet. So I, f I feel like I might be able to get away with this. Anyway, I'll keep you posted. That goes without saying. We thought you were from Canada and then we didn't put you to Canada and then it turned out to us from Canada. I remember. Ills and your William B. Here's I'm, I'm in the Book of Morons, eh? A gorgeous belt. Yes, you are in the Book of Morons, aren't you? I can't remember what for, obviously. That goes without saying. Um, it will have been a minor infraction, I'm sure, Gillian B. Um, because you're as pure as the driven snow. It would have been a mistake, like I mean, basically every every single time little Sue gets into trouble, it's because it's because it's just it's just a a a minor misunderstanding. That that's that what that's what goes on there, isn't it? Right, off to the Twitter eyes. Off to the Twitter eyes. Uh Mike, uh, formerly known as Toby Moore J. You got the wrong email. Uh, he says honoured uh, to have received our OHT badges today. Yes. Um both Neil and Mike got their OHT badges. We really love being part of the Afwap family, he says. And hope to be able to continue to contribute towards our WB. Gosh, I hope so too. You're a huge part of the gang. We're so lucky to have found this gang, he adds. Hashtag Avwax forever. There we are, look at that. That's super, isn't it? I like I like how you've you've put you you've put your flag badge there. That's very good. Uh, Neil says a real joy uh, to receive our OHT honours today. Thanks, must go. To Mackie Mackie Mac Mac for creating the official RWB spreadsheet and allowing me to get involved in the data input. Hopefully, it's proving useful and fun to Afwax. Hashtag Afwax forever. Uh, Mackie Mac Mac Mackie Mac 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 Maggie Mac 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 Mackie Mac 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 Maggie Mac. Uh, he says uh, allowing you to get involved. He's he's quoting uh, uh, Neil. He hasn't got a theme tune. Uh, here, I mean, I know I also chortled at that, uh, Mackie Mac Mac. Uh, it says significantly underplaying your role, sir. It's working uh, well. Yeah, honestly, the work that the pair uh, did on them uh, did did on 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 just sorting out 
and mustering all the available um hang on a minute one two three four oh, one, two. yes okay thank you um it's just extraordinary it's like they've just tidied everything up it's like a mega spring clean and very impressive it is too obviously we're making the serpent here that goes without saying Oh, look, it's already serpenty. It's going in there. Crumbs. Look at that. I mean, obviously, we've never had this piece before. But will you look at it? Oh, he looks like he's got a terrible hangover. Oh, that's a very good minifig. Well, do, they, do these count as minifigs? Do they... Mm, what would we call them? Then just a bit of beastie figs. Will it crumbs the snap on that? Oof! Oof! Blimey! That's going on there. I kind of feel like this is wrong. I think that's got to be like that. Yes. Look. And then that's there, look. I mean, will you look at it? Oh, good grief. Although, no. No, it's still not right. No, no. It's more like that. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's what it looks like. Look at that for a snaky serpent. Blimey. John Perry! He loves styles! Uh, he says, love those little bottles, but quite the struggle getting those transparent half cylinders on. I, I don't know why I, I, I struggled so intensely with that. Um, I mean, it was a little bit embarrassing, if I'm being honest. No, see, that's... Oh, I see. If that's like that, then that wants to be like that. I see. Look, it's got a little ridge there. Oh, well, strictly speaking, we should have given that a sort of thing. Look at this. This is quite big, isn't it? This snaky serpent. I've forgotten. It has got a name, hasn't it, in the film? I forgot. Oh, will you look at it? Will you look at the slithery creature? Ooh. Grimble sticks. Absolute grimbles. Let's put that over there. Um, you'll be delighted to know uh, we have our first frog. Chocolate frog. Chocolate frog. Um, better than that old the chocolate frog we did. A, the, the things I, d I wasn't mad for, actually, I wasn't mad for the wand. I thought that was a little bit too chunky um, and lacked a certain elegance. You might agree, you might disagree on that. Uh, and the chocolate frog wasn't bothered for that either. But I thought everything else was absolutely lovely. Loved the bottles, loved the suppository. Um, loved Hedwig, obviously, that goes without saying. Loved the way the head moved on Hedwig, I thought that was beautiful. Really nice. Voila. Um, John Parry says, but I have to say that your sticker placement is excellent. Thank you, sir, thank you. I remember the early days where you often had to scrape them off to reapply, and uh, sometimes more than once, if if you will recall. Oh, by the way, she, I think, did she get a, no, 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 we haven't used that yet. All right, all right, as you were. Um, that's going down. We've almost finished the first bag. We're going to be straight on to bag two any second now. Uh, Roger Maybanks, all fine, all fine. Roger Maybanks, all fine. He says, uh, we've all been there, John. I have Mother Goose and RWB to thank for the idea of using the brick separator for aiding sticker application. Pretty much improved my sticker game overnight. I mean, who doesn't want their sticker game improved overnight? Only a fool, that's who. Only a fool wouldn't want their sticker game improved overnight. Look, that's going there, which is quite thrilling. Now we're bringing in this little monkey. 
Honestly, my squinty McGinty today is off the scale. I'm very glad you can't see my face. It's just squintastic. Oh, look. That's the promise of a moving part. Okay. Uh, John Perry uh, says, uh, I think you mean a doodah. Uh, brick separator. Yes, thank you. Yes, you said brick separator. Roger May Bank. I'm afraid I'm going to have to pull you up on that. You should have said doodah. A brick separator. Thank you. Thank you. Let's, let's, let's just keep it, uh, keep it tidy here. Please keep it tidy. Keep it tidy. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Now that is going here. Uh, Tanya now dresses it, 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 it says, absolutely beautiful build. So much detail and I love the stunning Hedwig. Also the flappers on the snitch. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. <coughs> the flappers on the snitch. Oh, it's never going to end. <laughs> I'm fine now, she says. It was just dodgy when you put one on the wrong way round to start with. Uh, Ruth Hay says flappers. <coughs> yeah, she said flappers. She said flappers. Uh, flappers on the snitch. Have you seen her flappers on the snitch? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Little Sue. And she's called Little Sue. Janelle, and she's called Sue. Janelle Sue. Yes. Hello, Emma. Uh, hello, Everwax. Uh, it's me again, of course. Little Sue, the pudding for the details. Uh, yes, hello, Little Sue. Hello. Well, you've got that wrong, haven't you? Yeah, I've got it wrong. I've got it really wrong. I've got it right. Any hoodie hoodie who? Yes. Uh, what can we do for you today, young lady? Oh, look, little Sue, that's not fixed to anything. That's dangerous, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, honestly, look, it's not fixed to anything, which which gives me worry. Oh, it's all right, that's fixing it, Dad. Okay, Fury. Anyway, Emma, I would like to talk about the bottles, which, if they were still in the in the Lego shed, I would ask you to point at them, but of, I understand they've gone up to the big house. Yeah, they've gone up to the big house. Yeah, that's that has happened, little Sue, yeah. Um, so I can't. So everyone will just have to imagine them in their in their mind's eye. Yes, I'm doing that now. By the way, the, the, can you just pan up a bit? The flingo, the the flamingo is over. Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, the flamingo has had fallen off the uh, the lift of transformation. Uh, of course, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Emma, um, uh, let's get back to the bottles, please. Yes. I think those bottles are so special. And the effect of the quirks is so clever. In fact, every bit of this set is really beautiful, Emma, and very well thought out, don't you think? Yes, I do think. Yes, well, then we are in agreement uh, for once. Uh, press the button. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just turn the page. Uh, Roger Maybank says, I loved those little potion bottles. So good. Uh, Eric, he's got a duck affairs, yo. They both like watching Lego. And they really like music again. So his name is Eric. F -f 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 et cetera. Uh, he says... Uh, shingles causes asthma. I've never heard of such a thing. Well, no, it's what? What? Oh, by the way, I think that did, did I show you that tile? I mean, will you look at that tile? Isn't it glorious? That goes with Ron there over there. Um, well, here's the situation. When I lived in London, and this is like way back in the mists of time, not obviously when I lived in London, because I only moved from London about five years ago, but way back in the mists of time, I think it was in 2004, uh, I did an Edinburgh show. Uh, the um, Will, Will Shake, Bill Shakespeare's Italian job. Okay, it was, it was the Italian job as if it had been written by William Shakespeare. It was great fun up at Edinburgh Festival. And, um, hang on. Okay. 
it goes this way up and that fits in how oh there okay um and there was obviously a company illness uh which often happens during edinburgh it's, it's sort of an inevitability and it was a really really virulent um sort of chesty virus anyway because obviously you can't go off when you're doing edinburgh you have to battle on through and i was very unwell and i, mean, I remember there was one there was one uh, performance where between each scene where i was on i would just come and lie on the floor in the wing and then get up again literally doctor theater having to pay me a visit every single time I had to step on stage. Oh look, it's little Hedwig. That's nice. Um, and anyway, so that turned into a bronchial syndrome. And then that turned into asthma. So that was sort of the first time I got, I, I was diagnosed with asthma. Now there would be a sticker on this. And it would be sticker number 15. Oh, look at that. That's a lovely sticker. Oh, isn't that divine? Anyway, that would be on there now. So obviously that's like a, a star observatory or something. But that would be lovely there, wouldn't it, that sticker? Um, and also it wasn't helped by the fact that obviously I was driving... I, I used to travel around London on a scooter. And that would have been pollution and that wouldn't have been good for my chest either anyway so a combination of factors i ended up with asthma but it was very mild asthma and um it didn't really significantly bother me on any level anyway i think so then obviously i got shingles which was a very bad business we all know this you were with me every step of the way for that um, and sorry, let me pan up so you can just sit, look at that. That's quite good, isn't it? And that took about a month to get over. Oh, that is the end of, that's the end of, hang on a minute. I can't believe that that's, I've got, I have got some pieces left over here that I'm a little bit suspicious of. Ah. Yes, yes, thank you. I got that wrong. I knew it, I knew it didn't look right. Um, anyway, so had shingles for about a month. Then I had to go to London, went to London, came back from London with obviously picked something up because obviously my immune system was on the floor with the shingles. Got horrific uh, sort of coldy, chesty infection thing. Might no, I don't think it was. I don't. We, we we I did do lots of COVID tests, but none of them came up anyway. Um, and then I sort of got over that, and then had to go to London again, and immediately got another one. So I think the combination of shingles plus two viruses um, has just absolutely shot me to pieces. And now my lungs are like broken wind socks. I'm just going to turn the heater off. Excuse me. Um, so that's where we're at. Oh, now look. These went need to go somewhere. Now where, where were they? Let me just have a little check here, please. Where did they go then? Ah, it went on here. It went on Harry's camera. There we go. Right, that is now bag one. That's bag one done. Super. Those are all niblets. They can go away. Super. All right, so um, have I explained? Have I got to the end of it, that story now? So, yes, yeah, so I think it's. And, and now, sadly, I've got super severe asthma, which I'm afraid is making me very poorly. Oh, dear. What a sob story. Let's do bag two. Okay, so we have another minifig. Uh, this is Luna Lovegood. Little Luna with that face. Oh dear. I'm keeping them all happy. 
because they know Christmas is coming. Do do do. Does she get anything? Else? Oh gosh, yes, she does. She, she. This is amazing, and I'm actually quite jealous that uh, these are leaving the uh, haunted table. There's Luna. But will you look at these, please? I mean, are they the greatest things you've ever seen? Look at that. Oh, there's two of there's two of them. What absolute joy. I'm making a little book. Please look after those, whoever gets this. Voila. And there we go. Okay. Um Mike, formerly known as Toby Mori Jackie Gather on email. And down. Uh, he says, uh, a quick Google tells me that apparently adults with asthma are around 70% greater risk to develop shingles. Well, I, I honestly cannot express to you enough how, prior to me having all those things I just described, that literally couldn't, can't, couldn't, wouldn't, couldn't tell you when I last had to have a puff on an inhaler. Certainly not, not since I moved to the countryside. Not a, not a whiff of it. Not a whiff, anyway. Um, he then says, then, having had shingles will have had an impact on the immune system impacting asthma. Uh, hashtag shingles facts. Uh, Eric says, oh, great, I have asthma and I had chicken pox, which means I better get the shingles vaccine, which I've heard really knocks you down and you have to get two shots about six months apart. Here, you, you can only get the uh, shingles vaccine if you're over 70. I do believe. Anyway, I tell you what, I've got a question for those of you out there who have asthma, or maybe you might be a doctor or a nurse who knows about these things. I tell you what I'm interested in knowing, because obviously there is no cure for asthma, but what I want to know is how is it possible to turn severe asthma into mild asthma, and if that is possible, how the heck do you do it? What, what do I need to do? I will literally do everything. What do I need to do? Um, so let me know, please. She said desperately. She said desperate, Dan. Now, have I done that? Yes, I have. Okay, that's going on there. Uh, Maggie Mac Mac. Mac Maggie Mac Mac. Mac Maggie Mac Mac. Mac Maggie Mac. Uh, he says, uh, the Lego birthday fairies were good to me. I had the Discovery Space Shuttle. That's very good. Star Wars Advent Calendar. Oh, you're lucky. And the Dickens book. Oh, the Dickens book is absolutely tremendous. Is that the Christmas Carol one? Yes, it's so nice, isn't it? Well done for getting one of them, because they were, uh, they're hard to come by. Um, Squinty McGinty. Oh, Lord, above. I mean, I could just stop being Squinty McGinty by just going up to the big house and um, getting a, my flipping computer gla glasses. Am I going to make that easy for myself? No, of course not. This would have a sticker on it, sticker number 14. Look, shiny. That would have gone on there. Okay. That's an interesting colour, isn't it? That's on there. That's on there. Um, brace, brace, brace. Boston Nancy, Boston Nancy. She isn't frilly and she isn't fancy. Uh, she says, Mother Goose, I don't know much at all about Harry Potter, but I agree, a spectacular build. And I, for one, love the flair you gave to the gold ribbons on the gold ball thingy. She said, girl, ball thingy. <coughs> Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Karen LC says, my favourite comic was Misty's sister comic, Ginty. Oh, yes, I have a vague recollection of that. It had the same format. Um, hang on. Just checking. I'm getting this right. Yes, she said, squinting. Uh, serial stories ending on a cliffhanger, but science fiction theme. Ginty and Misty were eventually absorbed into another comic from the same publisher, Tammy. Yes, I remember that. 
Um, but by that time, I'd moved on to smash hits. Well, hadn't we all? That and, um, oh, for heaven's sake, Jackie magazine. Yeah, Jackie magazine. That had the incredible Kathy and Claire problem column. And I, this is etched into my memory uh, when I was at the the, the, fir- the the second year. I was in the first, no, I was in the second year at, at senior school. And um, we were huddled around the Kathy and Claire column uh, reading a letter in which someone had written in saying, can you get pregnant from a pillow? And we couldn't get over. I mean, even even though we knew nothing of these matters, uh, we couldn't get over it. It was it was quite astonishing. I'm making four of these. Can I get pregnant from a pillow? I mean, what had she been doing, dirty birdie? <laughs> we all know. We know what she'd been doing. Uh, scrub down, scrub down. Ooh la la, le Jackie Swan, le Jackie Jackie Swan. Uh, she says, well, it's been amazing and beautiful and stunning. <laughs> That's enough about me. <laughs> what about the build? <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you. I'm here all week. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, Mr. Claw. The Claw is a misty. He says, I've had a few issues with the older sets. Wall E, I had a wonky neck. Oh dear. Hang on a minute. And Lego had to send out a few extra bits to fix it. And the shuttle adventure had an entire inner bit of the fuel tank they sent out to stop it falling apart. Crumps. Blimey. Yeah, we've been very lucky on that regard. Oh, touch wood. There's no wood in here. It's all plastic. What are you talking about, Emma? There's no wood in here. Touch that. I mean, I don't even know if that is wood, but we'll keep all fingers crossed. Uh, Stainless Steel Cat uh, says Misty was a great comic and uh, and still is. Uh, there's a s- new special issue out once a year about Halloween time. I agree about Wizard and Chips too. Here's a pick of my one remaining Wizard and Chips Annual, hang on a minute and I'll show you. Flipping loved Wizard and Chips. It was so brilliant and funny. And I don't know which, which one, it, I don't know what which artist it was, but there would always be loads of stuff hidden in the pictures for you to find, like jokes and stuff. Anyway, there, look at that. Wizard and Chips, loved it. Stainless Silk Cat says, A top comic for me was Sparky with Keyhole Kate, Hungry Horace, Pansy Potter and Baron Von Reich's Pudding Gear, not off. Uh, Maggie Mac Mac says, I had that Wizard and Chips album. Yes, thank you. Uh, Trevor Poulter, he's such a darling. He's a darling, do you understand? He's a darling. Uh, he says, um, gives a, he gives a time code for yesterday, 3857, then says, a bless you, a thank you, thank you very much. A Zoe bus, I dreamer, and an air fool uh, 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 She says, Dear Mother Goose, thank you for the great honour of OHT Goose. A lovely badge, and I think it completes my look rather well. Hashtag Afwax Forever. P.S. The Hedwig set was fabulous. Wait a minute. Yeah, that, that, you're right, it does. It looks super. Well done. Well done for working out how to make it hold it. Uh, I do believe that concludes the business of club. Oh, I'm so squinty, McGinty. Voila. Et voila. I think this is going to be a quick little build, you know. Which is uh, good because obviously I didn't want to be lingering on this because I want to get started. Now, um, I'll take your thoughts. We have three, well, technically we've got four uh, Christmas sets, four Christmassy sets. Uh, We have um, another Harry Potter. We have the Hogsmeade visit, which is sort of Christmassy. This would have a sticker on it and that sticker. Oh, that's a good sticker. Sticker number two. Oh, look at that. That's a good one. Anyway, that would be on that. 
um, and that would be on there, which obviously would be very dramatic, but oh, we haven't got that. So that's number one. We've got Santa's sleigh, which will be a quickie. And uh, we have Santa's visit, which obviously is very, very Christmassy. And we have Home Alone. Now, here's the issue. What order do you want them in? I think, I think we start with Home Alone. Then we do Santa's visit and we finish with Santa's sleigh. Because obviously Santa needs his sleigh right up. Up, up at the sharp end of Christmas. What do you think about that? That's my thought. But I think we start home alone because that's a big set um, as soon as we finish this. Or or do we try and sneak in Hogsmeade visit? I suppose that's the real issue, isn't it? Do we try and sneak in Hogsmeade before we go on to home alone? Oh, I can't wait for Home Alone, can you? I'm, li I'm li literally a quiver about it. Absolute quiver. Voila, voila. And two of these. I might check the timings when I've done this, but we, we very metal. We may well have time for another bag. That's going so squinty. There we go. That's going in there. That's going there. What's that, do we think? What's that going to be? So, that going there. I mean, it's sort of feeling chambery now, isn't it? Yep. Two of these. Where's that going? Oh, flipping it around. There. And another one. There. So anyway, I, honestly, I w I'm so want to hear from you if um, you know how to turn severe asthma into uh, mild asthma. I know you can't get rid of asthma. I know it cannot be. I know that. I just want to make it. I just want to make it better. And I am taking all the the pu the stuff the puffer steroids and everything like that. But good grief, I'm absolutely bored witless of being ill. Voila, if voila, especially during flipping COVID. Not allowed to see anybody. So boring. Apart from my guest next week, who is coming. I don't care. I don't care if he kills me. He won't kill me. <laughs> he better not kill me. Um, <laughs> do, do, do what's happening here now. Really? Ah, yes. Come, sir. Come, sir. It's amazing how quick these come together, isn't it? I feel like I've only been building for about half an hour. I will check on that in a minute. If I've gone over half an hour, that that will be it for today. If I if I haven't. Then we might sneak another bag in, especially as I've as I've got no reading out duties to be done now. So we're going to whip through this really quick. Um, voila. 
Uh, remember, of course, at the November uh, draw, I will also be doing the Christmas draw. Um, now, this needs to be discussed as well. I, I, I had thoughts of what I wanted to give the people who win the Christmas draw. Look, it's one of those again. Uh, but they're currently out of stock. So what I could say is, because um, there's three people going to be drawn out of the Christmas draw, how's about, because obviously it is for Christmas, I keep it secret as to what you're winning, and we'll just say for the Christmas, because Chris, Christmas draw is every, everybody. Everybody's in the Christmas draw. Hang on a minute. What's happened here? Oh, look, there's a pink frog. How dare I miss it? Of course I missed it now. Oh, of course, of course I've done this. Of course I have. Of course I have. Make it hard for yourself, Kennedy. Why not? And uh, I missed that out as well. It goes, well, let's stick it there. It makes it a bit easier. There we go. We have a scenario here. That would have had a fa fabulous little sticker on that. Uh, but that's that. Right, hang on. Let me just check. Uh, timing, thank you. Yes, we are done for the day. We're done for the day. But what a start. This is great. We've got uh, four minifigs. I mean, the, these, to me, are... I mean, I couldn't love them more, quite frankly. I couldn't love them more. We've got some sort of spacey observatory. We don't know what that is yet. Um, I think that's a classroom. Anyway, we're off. We're off. And uh, and and this. <coughs> Horrible. Horrible and genuinely terrifying. Uh, Afworks forever. See you tomorrow.